Hi, I'm Paisy Mahmood, a campaigner at ICRO Women's Rights Organisation. Paisy, how have your experiences enabled you to help others? My own experience of honour based abuse has helped me understand what so many women and girls are going through and the vital support and resources that must be available to girls and women so that they can thrive. Why should the concept of virginity not define a person? Virginity is a social construct. To define a girl or woman by her virginity is to uphold patriarchal and misogynistic harmful beliefs, which are barriers to women and girls being safe, happy and making their own choices to be who they want to be. How do these practices play a part in the misogynistic control of women? We want to ensure that every woman, every girl, has the right to safely make her own choices without the fear of honour-based abuse and harmful practices. Hymenoplasty is an extremely invasive procedure that in any case doesn't guarantee what it claims to do. Both virginity testing and hymenoplasty are a breach of human rights. And it's a form of control by family, community and the wider society. And these are strong examples of misogyny. What barriers and attitudes need to be broken down to change people's attitudes surrounding these issues? We need to completely rethink how we value women and girls as equals whose worth is in no way connected to the social construct of virginity, but instead as equal human beings. Why are the practices of virginity testing and hymenoplasty central parts of honour-based violence? This is such a great question, because it's really important that we recognise these harmful practices are both forms of honour-based abuse, because they're motivated by controlling the so-called honour of women and girls by the wider family and the community. We need to challenge and deconstruct the concept of honour-based abuse by celebrating and valuing women and girls and everyone in our society for who they are. What short and long-term impact does virginity testing have on women and girls? Virginity testing is a completely invasive harmful practice and a form of sexual abuse. It can cause trauma and long-term psychological harm. And if a girl is perceived to have failed that test, she's at risk of honour-based abuse and even honour killing. Why is hymenoplasty so dangerous and harmful to women? Hymenoplasty is a seriously invasive procedure, which can cause trauma and harm to mental health. Surgeons are not trained to perform it. And it is an unresearched area, but there are major concerns on how it can impact a woman or girl physically, including around childbirth. Many hymenoplasty procedures don't result in a girl bleeding at the next intercourse, which would leave her in an extremely vulnerable position and at potential risk of honour-based abuse and even honour killing. If someone inquires about hymenoplasty, at ICRO we take this as a red flag that she needs to be safeguarded. Why is it so important to change the laws surrounding virginity testing and hymenoplasty? Like FGM and forced marriage, all harmful practices need to be banned and safeguarding of women and girls must be prioritised in addition to changing the law. The government must ensure sustained funding for specialist organisations like ICRO to engage the community to challenge the perception that a girl's value or worth is connected to her virginity. Ensure relationships and sex education is taught to all students. Educate professionals to properly understand honour-based abuse. Provide advocacy, advice, counselling and refuge to girls and women who are at risk of honour-based abuse. Where can girls and women receive help if they cannot talk to anybody they know about these issues? At ICRO, we are here to help you if you are facing these issues. You can find us on icro.org.uk. We offer specialist services such as counselling, advice and refuge for those who are impacted by hymenoplasty and virginity testing. How can other people get involved to help and support this campaign? You can support our campaign in various ways. Share our Virginity Does Not Define Me campaign with your friends, your family and networks. Follow and engage with our social media accounts to raise awareness on these issues. And finally, please continue this important conversation.